our uh, special guest, uh, Dr. Vijay Bhaskar Garu. He's here, I displayed his uh, paints, he paintings. I would like him to come here and pick up one of them and instead of me choosing, and, uh, what we see, it, it itself is not the meaning. There is a deeper meaning to that one. And uh, he will, uh, from a painter's interpretation, what we see that we see only a lady sitting there, but there is a deeper meaning that when he draw the, drew that one, he had some other idea. He wanted to express his idea through the painting. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, well, uh, so before I start about the painting, uh, uh, I was quite uh, inspired today uh, by uh, Guruji's talk on uh, koshas or layers. A painting is uh, quite complementary to yoga in the same way. Uh, you try to uh, remove all the layers and try to get back to uh, uh, yourself uh, with no prejudice. Uh, like uh, yesterday, one of the greatest artists uh, passed away uh, by name uh, S.H. Raja. I don't know whether you know S.H. Raja. He uh, is a Padma Vibhushan. Uh, and he's uh, well known for his uh, paintings on uh, something called as Bindu, or a dot. And uh, he tried to discover the whole universe through uh, uh, a single dot. And uh, he always regresses back to his childhood. Uh, when he was a kid uh, during school, he was not good in studies. Uh, he was very poor in maths. And his teacher uh, asked him to uh, uh, focus and concentrate on one dot. Uh, to uh, gain more attention. And uh, so he tried to uh, focus on that dot, and he, he made a whole career out of one dot. Um, so the, the, and he discovered himself or uh, the whole universe through one dot. Um, so he found infinity uh, within that dot. So, uh, so when you're a kid, you know, you don't have a lot of prejudice. You're uh, your own self. And um, like great painters, uh, they always uh, refer back to their childhood. Um, so that uh, they're more pure. Likewise, uh, when I was growing up, uh, uh, I used to go uh, to a school, local school, and we had uh, a fruit vendor at the school. We, uh, in Telugu, we call uh, a fruit vendor as Kai Lama. So she sells uh, the fruits. And uh, she normally sells uh, fruits that are local, organic, uh, grown wild uh, berries, for example. And uh, so she kind of supports uh, not only herself, but also us. Likewise, uh, right now, if you look at uh, most of the kids, uh, they don't know many fruits that are uh, organic or local. They get, uh, you know, Kit Kats or uh, Cadbury's more than uh, the natural uh, fruits. Uh, so this is my memory uh, of my childhood uh, with no prejudice. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll have... Dr. Vijay Bhaskar Garu again next week, and the next week will be the, his last class, and I will uh, get him to talk a bit uh, in length next week. And uh, what we saw at uh, three languages, that uh, to understand the painting, there are three languages are there. One is called as uh, Darshana. What we saw, when we see as it is, when we saw as it is, we saw uh, one lady, Darshana Bhasha. There is a Guhya Bhasha is there, another language. He wanted to convey some message through this one. There is some intention is something and he expressed, conveyed the message through something. His intention and uh, it's a hidden message. But it is revealed, only he told. When he told that one, oh, there's a, what is the watermelon is there, other vegetables are there, that uh, some message and he, it uh, took him to the, he took us to the, his childhood. It's a hidden message. He wanted to express that one. And Samadhi Bhasha. Samadhi Bhasha, the truth. Truth is underlining truth. It gets revealed. It's a Samadhi Bhasha. Three Bhashas. And the same message in the meditation. In the meditation also, it's a three Bhashas to understand that we have the three languages. Darshana Bhasha, Guhya Bhasha, and Samadhi Bhasha. Three Bhashas. We need to have a three languages we have to understand, to understand any scripture, any bhasha, any commentary, if you understand, you need to see from three di different dimensions. And the meditation, 
and meditation. Last week I touched upon meditation. Meditation, uh, to do a meditation, we should have a vision. We had to be ha have a visionary. We had to be visionary. Suppose that uh, Dr. Uh, Vijay Bhaskar Garu, that he himself, uh, as I mentioned last week, he's a, a university professor. He's going back to Bits Bilani. It's a premier school in India as a professor. And he said quite a few people will be uh, studying under him. He will be quite a few PhDs. They will be doing PhDs under him. As I was uh, contemplating on this one, what is PhD and what is meditation? And a PhD, and uh, if, he, if I go to him, sir, I want to do PhD, and the first thing he will ask, what is your aspiration? What do you want to do? Then uh, I will be scratching my head. And he will say, write up a proposal, what you want to achieve out of PhD. To write a proposal, it will take for a student one year, one and a half years, or two years, what I want to achieve. I don't know what I have to achieve. To get a PhD, writing a proposal, one para proposal, takes one and a half years or two years. If I know what I want to achieve, then getting the result is easy. In another six months or one year, I will get PhD. Getting to know what I have to do, it itself, it's a major task. It takes one, one year, one and a half years, two years to write up one para. If I know what I do, want to do, then PhD is easy. Same is with our life also. We have life, we don't know what we have to achieve out of this life. Life is passing out. That is one and a half years. This life also, there is a PhD. That PhD we have to do. Doctorate. Nobody gives the doctorate. But we have to identify what we have to get out of this life. Have a vision. Have a goal. Contemplate. 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 And what um, uh, the painter, painter was saying that uh, a great painter, um, uh, it's a... Uh, uh, it's a uh, Raja that uh, he passed away. This uh, entire thing focused on one point. It's uh, if you get a PhD based on the proposal after one and a half years, sir, I want to get a PhD out of this one. Okay, work through that one. After uh, two years, one year, I'll get a PhD. Okay, he's a good student. But an extraordinary PhD student, my proposal is this one. But what I discover is not in this framework, something different. It's a, things, one goes out of box. New revelation. New revelation happens, that's a genius. And um, in our meditation also, when we start meditation, last week I said, have a vision. And if you realize that one, it is a good meditator. If you realize something out of that one, I thought this one, but something new revealed. That person becomes genius. That meditation, meditation, have a vision. That's why it says, contemplate, contemplate, contemplate. The truth opens up in a new dimension. It has to awaken. That person, that is the purpose of meditation, purpose of dhyana. Sit, to do, the, do various asanas, we should be able to sit for a long time. We, we don't want to sit, we want a quick result. I don't want to study. I don't want to submit a proposal. I want a PhD. It is not possible. Sit, sit, contemplate, contemplate. Slow down your breathing. Contemplate, contemplate. New dimension in you gets revealed. The genius in you comes out. Discover that one. That is the purpose of meditation. We'll practice.